My new Hogland farm is gonna show you how to make 60,000 cooked pork per hour. Let me show you how. You see, soul sand is a spawnable block, but it's also not a full block. So when hoglins spawn on it, what happens is they immediately touch the block next to them, in this case, lava. We're gonna build this in a crimson forest, so find a nice big one where you wanna build it. I'm gonna use a hopper minecart system to pick up the pork and leather, so let's build that now and I'll show you how to tile it. You could use a simple system like I'm setting up here, or you can actually put things like shulker loaders on the bottom of this if you want to. The exact system I'm using is by a YouTuber named Tinker77. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, let's set up the redstone circuit for this. We're just going to break that, put a temporary block there and break that. Now we're going to put the comparator in here facing away, a redstone torch on the opposite side of the block, and a repeater facing toward the hopper. And then we're going to put a block between the repeater and the hopper just like this. We're going to add a powered rail over the hopper, a block behind the chest, and a powered or a normal rail just onto that block. Grab your screenshot of what one of these looks like and let's make more. All right, now obviously I need to make this as big as possible because, you know, I'm doing the YouTube video and, you know, I need to put a high number in the title. But you don't have to do it this big. You can make this as big or small as you want. For now, I'm going to put 24 double chests across and make this thing 48 wide. Now go back to the beginning and repeat every block that we put into that template all the way across the farm. You know what that means? It's time lapse time. Okay, once you've repeated that template as many times as you want and you've laid out the track, it'll be time to build the actual farm part. Now for this, we're going to use soul sand and lava, and basically it's a three by three. So you just make a three by three of soul sand, then you knock out the middle piece and fill it with a bucket of lava. The lava won't spread, it won't flow because of the rail below. Then you just need to repeat that until it covers all of the rails that you've set up. Please do note that I've set this up one too close to the unloader stations. We'll fix it later, but I didn't notice it at the time. Now I'm obviously building this in creative, but if you want to build it in survival, the easiest way to do that is to put all the soul sand down, light it up as you go, and then go back and knock out these middle blocks. Every two blocks, just put a lava bucket. Once you're done with that, you're going to go back and put a too high wall around the edge of this. I'm going to use glass so that I don't need to put anything on top of it. If you do use a solid block, just put a slab over the top of that solid block, just to prevent spawns. Continue that too high wall all the way around so that nothing can escape the farm. And while we're spawn proofing, go back and put buttons on the top of all of these blocks here. 
Once you're done, the farm should look like this with the lava every two blocks. You're going to find the center of the farm. And after you find the center of the farm, just build a scaffolding tower all the way up to Y250. I find it easier to build all the way up to build height and then just knock the top few off. Once you've got that done, go up to the top, go down so you are at Y250. Put a block there for your AFK platform. Drop back down and put your minecarts right. Uh oh! It was at this moment that he knew. Fine, let's fix it. Okay, after a little bit of painstaking work, this is how it should actually look. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, settle down. All right, let's add the rest of the carts to this really quickly. And if we go back up to our AFK spot, we can take a look down below and see what's happening. As the hoglins are spawning in, the lava will take care of them. And from this angle, you can see pretty clearly why the farm is so effective. As soon as the hoglins spawn, they start taking damage. Now, I didn't discover this feature. It's actually been a bug in the bug report since 2012, but I've never seen anyone use it in a farm like this, so I thought I'd build this tutorial and show you guys the incredible rates we get off this. We did end up with 60,000 cooked pork and almost 10,000 leather. That is twice as fast as Some Call Me Tim's, about four times as fast as Doc M's, nine times as fast as Ray's Works, and about 35 times faster than Shulker Crafts. And that's all there is to it. Please like, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.